An accused serial bank robber is back behind bars. He's been hitting Metro banks for the last four years. And even after spending time in prison, he still hasn't learned his lesson. News 13's Brittany Bade shows you how he got caught this time. It's a face bank security cameras have been catching for years. You may remember 51-year-old James Verdry as the bank robber who took a taxi to steal from a credit union on Indian School in 2014. The man in the L.A. hat was captured in Phoenix and sentenced to more than three years, but eventually got out. And the FBI says it didn't take him long to get back to his old ways. According to the criminal complaint, Verdream robbed the Nusenda Credit Union on Montgomery in Pennsylvania on March 9th. Agents say he gave the teller a note demanding money and walked out with two grand. Witnesses say he got into the silver Nissan Sentra driven by a woman with red hair. Just five days later, the same duo was seen canvassing three other Nusenda credit unions. Until ultimately, Verdream went in and robbed the Rio Grande Credit Union on 4th and Mountain. There, the feds say he got away with more than $2,500. The next day, U.S. Marshals found and arrested Verdream for violating his probation and the robberies. They also picked up his accomplice, Rhonda Quintana. Quintana works for a cab company, and she first told authorities she didn't know why Verdream had her take him to so many banks. But texts between her and a friend show she knew exactly what this accused serial bank robber was doing. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Her dream is charged with robbing both credit unions. Quintana was charged with aiding and abetting in connection to the second robbery.